Hey everybody, this is Charlene with Cheryl's Crafty World. Dot com. A real store grand reopening on April 1st. Check it out, everybody. It is time for Beat and Beverage Friday. And man, have I got a haul for you. First, I want to let you know I am drinking, I think you can see it, cranberry juice. Yes, cranberry juice. Um, and I have gone on a little shopping spree with Fire Mountain Gems, or Fire Mountain, and, um, I got like 152 strands of beads to share with you today. So, take a second, run and get you a drink, and maybe a snack, and let's see what I picked up. If this is your first time coming to Cheryl's Crack the World, Welcome. We we'll hope that you want to become part of our dot com crafty family. You can do that by hitting the subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified when we upload. Leave us a like and leave us a comment so we can officially welcome you to our crafty family. Hey, crafty family, how y'all doing today? We can't do this without you. We appreciate you. We love you. We're praying for you, and we're glad to see you again. All right. All right, I hope we got all our drinks and snacks. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay, so the first thing I have here is I picked up two bags of these colorful beads here. I'm going to be making some keychains, and um, I thought these would be good. These are like the bubblegum beads, the big ones. So in here you can see Fire Mountain, Fire Mountain Gems, if anybody else wants to um, check them out. So there's those, and then we have these. I know I probably picked these up because these look like candy. These are pretty big. These are probably 10 millimeter beads. And some beads I'll probably take out of the bag so you can see. But yeah, these are real pretty. And they're hard, so they're stone of some type. Next up we have some chip beads. Yeah, maybe we can get rid of all this plastic. There we go. We picked up some chip beads in brown. And these would be nice for like your micro, your micro memory wire bracelets. We have those. And we got some turquoise. Imitation turquoise. These are pretty. Look at those are nice size. The bracelets, earrings, and they're light. They're cold though, so they're stone. Very nice, very nice. I tell you what, excuse me, they're not short with the plastic. Everything is in this individual plastic. And then we got these. Green beads is really nice. Ooh, these are like shell beads. Look at that. You see the color change on them? Those are nice. I see why I bought those. I like anything that's like electroplated, that kind of stuff. All right, let me move some of this now. My desk already getting full. <laughs> I got bags sliding, bags on top of bags. Yeah, that, and I don't even know if I can reuse these bags. If I can, I will. Because we're not trying to, you know, mess up the environment with a whole bunch of plastic. All right, here we got these are like flat, you know, flat teardrops. Those are real pretty. And then we got, oh, glass cubes. Look how pretty. Almost lamp work type. Those are nice. I'm still in the first bag, y'all. Then we got some turquoise chips, it looks like. Chip beads. I'll take those out so you can see them better. There you go. 
50 packs of turquoise to beat. And then, ooh, we got some green. Does it tell me what they are? Olive jade. Olive jade, okay. So look at this. Olive jade. I like the long tube. They're like tubes. I have two packs here. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so that's what the, at least the tag on there tells you what it is, so I can tell y'all, because when I tell you I don't know these stones, this is sea green jade. So you can't even see it. Let me take it out. So it's almost like a tube. Really nice. I'm going to see if I can keep the sticker so I know what it is. There we go. Alright, next up we have Blue Cat Eyes. I don't know how that's cat eye beads, but that's what they say. They're pretty cool too. Blue tube beads. And these are glass plum beads. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at those. Those are real pretty. Those are almost, almost lamp work. Look like lamp work beads. Real pretty, real pretty. They come in different colors. Look at that. It's a darker color. This is boho. This totally gives me boho vibes. Okay. What else we got here? We're almost done with the first bag. We got three bags today. All right. This one is pearl. Cultured pearl. Yellow. Yellow cultured pearl. Look at that. How pretty is that? And then we got... Ooh. These are big. We got... More olive jade, just a bigger, bigger version here. Really nice, really nice. And then, ooh, okay, these are shell pier, pier shell beads. Look at those. These are what we call coin beads, really, because they're circle. But these are gorgeous. Can't wait to put those in them. All right, let me clear the dust again. As I know y'all can tell I'm working on a short table here, but gives you a chance to grab a sip. <laughs> I gotta clear the table because we got a lot to do to, to go through today. Okay, next up we have is a big bag. This is Chip Cat Eye 32 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of their extra bag because um, you can't even see the see it really. Those are pretty the chip beads. So those, I probably bought a lot of chip beads because I do make memory wire bracelets and these will be perfect to add. So I got four bags, four bags to go. They must have been on sale. Some of this stuff you had to buy because it was a big sale they had. Some of it you had to buy multiple strands because the price was so cheap. Look at these. These are like stars. Really pretty. All right, and this is dark gray marble beads. You taking off this? Yeah. Okay. Look at these dark gray you marble. Know the good, babe? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Oh, and these are real tiny cubes. Look at those. But they're so pretty. I see. Bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. 
pretty, pretty, pretty. Alright, this is all folded up. What is this? These are focal rhinestones. Oh! Oh, okay. I saw all these little little bags and I'm like, what is this? So it's like a rhinestone um connector, I think they are. Rhinestone connectors. Look how pretty. Okay. Those I will keep in the bag because there's a lot of them. Okay. Next up we have let's see. Who needs a heavy? Oh, some more coin beads. These are green marble. Okay. So these are green marble coin. They're heavy. These, these, these got some weight to them. So I probably won't use a lot of them in a bracelet. Maybe one or two as a focal bead. Or, yeah. So there's those. And you guys, we almost finished the first bag. Yay! And we got some green chip. Look at those. Those are real pretty. Oh, some of them have like super color on them. So those are nice. Uh oh. Got me a free calendar. <laughs> and looks like some free seed beads. Cause, but these will go nice with the boho ones. Because I don't see beads. My arthritis doesn't allow me. Save this big one. Alright, let me clear the dust. And we will venture into bag number two of three. Yo, yo, yo. When you're a business, you can do big shopping like this. Um, because, you know, it's for the business. Make sure you keep good records, though. Um, yeah. I didn't do that last year, and it cost me with my taxes. So this year, different story. <laughs> I am watching every penny like a hulk. Alright. Breaking in the bag number two. Ooh, what are these? These are called acrylic. Oh, these are acrylic. Okay. I normally don't buy acrylic, but these are the flower ones. Look how pretty. Flower beads. Those always look nice. Those make nice spring earrings, y'all. Look how pretty. Hope you get, let me take one out because you can't really see it in the plastic. Let me take one out. Look how pretty these are. Woo! I can hold it in my hand long enough for you to see it. These are really nice. You can see the holes in the middle. So we got two bags of those. And then these are green glass multi twisted as Oh, these are like little little pillow. I call them pillow beads, but look at how pretty. Those are nice. That'd be a nice green bracelet. And then, oh, we got some squares in the house. Gray cream marble. Look at those. And they got a little bit of weight to them. Man, these dogs are neat. Almost look like tiles you put down on a, on a floor or something. These things are thick. Look at that. Them some thickums. <laughs> Don't y'all be running the Home Depot talking about I'm going to make a bracelet with some tiles. Alright, so next up we have these little square square um, stone beads. These are really nice in the gray. Those are small. And then we have these look like oh, we have some anchors. 
I can let me take them out back. Extra bag. They put them in the country. So anchors. Oh, and they have colors on them too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we have two bags of those. I like to use anchors for keychains and um, in my jewelry, you know, like anchored in the Lord kind of thing. Then we got these. Look how pretty. These are already earrings, but that's not what I bought them for. I probably will take them apart and use them in something. So we got those. And then ooh, ooh, this looks like what is this? Bead mix. Oh, okay. So some of them, whoa, this thing is heavy. Some of them they sold like a bead mix. So this was a stone bead mix. You got some pink in here. Some big cream stones, some brown stones. What else? These are pretty cool. Some of them, I don't know, like, where would I lose that? That might end up being just a decoration instead of you know, putting jewelry. Maybe a keychain. I don't know. <laughs> so there it goes. All right. Let me clear the table again. And. We can continue. Once I move my stuff around here, then we have room to to look at stuff. Sorry, I bumped y'all. Sorry about that. All right. Whew. I gotta process all of this. Inventory, inventory. Okay. Here we go. Now we have some cream. Look like all white. You see what they labeled it as. Uh, cat's eye. Oh, no, no. That's not the cat's eye, but they say cat's eye. It's pretty, though. So, those will make a nice bracelet or um, <sighs> rosary. Nice rosary. All right. And we have some green Magini. What? Horace Green. I don't know. I don't be knowing the names of all these stones. I have to take a class or something because there is so many. There's so many. It's hard to know what's what. But I like this style. I don't even know what shape that is. Like horn or something like that. But I like that style. I've seen a lot of bracelets, really pretty bracelets, where they put a bead in between the two of them. And it looks really nice. So, I had to get some of those. And then, uh, ooh, okay. These are serpentine. Green serpentine. Like little tubes. Okay. Next we have. Sorry if the, all the bag noise bothers you, but they don't. They're not short and putting things in bags. These we have some turquoise beads here. Ooh. What is this? What is this? I pray tell. Very beautiful. I'm not sure what shape that is, but look how pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These are gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Uh-uh. I can't reach it over there. I'll put it over here. Thank you. These are I got three bags of those. They are so pretty. I keep hitting y'all. I'll deal with that later. I have enough. I have enough. Thank you. I got it, thank you. All right, so let me clear the table. I'm going to go with some more here. Because we is nowhere near finished. And how? 19 minutes in, okay. All right, ooh, these got some weight to them. These multi-serpentine. These are the big babies. Look at those. Wow. Okay. 
those those are heavy. What is this? Several several in here. Four. Four strands. So yeah, I'll use those sparingly in a bracelet because otherwise they'd be dragging their arms off the ground. Um okay, now we got some cream cubes. Yep, these are pretty nice. These are four strands of cream cubes. Cube stone. Um these are Riverstein, Riverstein, I don't know, I don't know, they have so many names, got some more chip beads, how light, how light chip beads, those are pretty, and then we got two strands of calcite, calcite stone beads, these look like they're coloring, you know, between a cream and almost a yellow, a real light yellow. Huh. Yeah, some look white and some look like a real light yellow. Then we got these turquoise hearts. Those are cute. You got that? And then, okay, thank you. And then these look like little hearts too. Almost lamp work hearts. Delicate, delicate. And we got some blue tubes. Lovely these lovely too. These are called cat eye tubes, I guess. And everybody have a great time on CherylCraftyWorld.com. That was so unnecessary. All right, and then um, another thing of serpentine in green. I bought a lot of green. You know, I don't normally buy a lot of green. That's probably why I stocked up this time. But being that it's springtime, look at those. Ooh, they have like some color or just some swirl in them. So, yeah, a lot of times when you buy natural stone beads they will have their own you know their own flair to them all right let's clear the table and we're almost look we did we finished bag two yay all right on to bag three and then we are done ladies and gentlemen let me show you this is bag three so, okay, let's get back to it. Let me put you back down here. Oh, don't want to lose you. Okay. All the bags. All the bags. Okay. So these are, is this red or orange? It looks orange, chip, dark, dark orange. I, I couldn't tell. Dark orange beads, chip beads. So that'll be nice for a microfiber. Ooh, these are glass cat. This is glass cat eye beads, but look at that. There's four strands in there. Those are so pretty. I like all the different colors. And usually when they come like that, the colors go together. Looks like we got some more turquoise here. Imitation turquoise. And these are almost cubed, not quite. But good enough. And then we got some shell coins. Some more shell coin beads. Really pretty. I like the way the light hits them. And then, okay. Oh, yes, we got some spacer beads. See, they see spacer. Look how pretty. Some pretty gold spacer beads. Those are going to look real nice. Okay. And then, 
Looks like we got another bag of the stone mix. Okay, so this time we got some greens, some blues, look like some grays. Oh, here they go. I like those. Hexagon kind of. We got some imitation turquoise, some green, and some blue in there. Those. Next, we got these are. Let me see what they say they are. Multi gemstone round. These are small. These are like your four millimeter beads. Um, yeah, these are real. But these are nice spacers. That's what I use my four millimeter beads for. Real pretty. Real pretty. Okay. And then we have. We get there, y'all. We get there. Oh yes. I'm gonna open this up. Um, I call them bracelet bars, but they are. Um, you make bracelets with them, and they both say. I bought two. They both say hope on them. Which we all need to have hope. So pretty. Yes. Because I also bought some leather um, bracelet. Um, blank bracelets from someone on whatnot. And she didn't have the bars to go with them. So I was like, I need bracelet bars. And they had them. So this I think was supposed to be, it says fashion jewelry. So I guess it was supposed to be maybe a bracelet. I don't know. But you know me. We'll take it apart and probably make a pair of earrings with a matching bracelet. So we got those. Oh, finally the alarm's done. Sorry, y'all, if you had to hear that. Mr. Bob is off to work. He's got one more week. This time next week, he'll be partying with the other guys that retired with them. The company throwing them a party. And I think he gets a watch, too, he says. He put in 41 years. He deserves time. All right, so these are bracelets. Oh, these are already bracelets. But, of course, I take them apart and do my thing. So, they don't look too bad. There's 12 of them in here, though. So this is just a bag of already stretched bracelets from um, Fire Mountain. Like I said, what I do is because they were getting rid of them, I just buy them for the beads. You know, they're stuck, so you just cut them. You just cut it. And, uh, see? You just cut the string. And look, they don't even hide the knot good. You cut the string and use the beads for something else. And these are cold, so these are like either glass or stone beads. These are glass, because you can see through them. But yeah, so that's fun. So if you ever see somebody, you know, selling beads inexpensively, like Fire Mountain or Shopless A or somebody like that, and then you can always pick them apart and make a project with them. Even if you do just a dangle for your journal or whatever you want to do. There's a million things you can do with these. Oh, these are cute. Let me take these out the bag. These are resin. But I like the way they look. Oh, these are so lightweight. Wow, I didn't know resin was so lightweight. These are pretty. These will make nice spring earrings or bracelets. I think they're already bracelets. Yeah, they're already bracelets. So I'll be pulling them apart to put them on something else. Those are pretty. Okay, we getting there, y'all. We getting there. Almost done here. And we got some dark shell disc beads. You can see that what I, what we call sometimes the oil slick on them. Okay. These are butterflies. Pretty butterfly gems. Look at that gray one. That's pretty. Okay. And this is... 
Uh, they don't tell you. All right. This like a pinkish stone bead. Real pretty, real pretty. We're getting there. Oh, look at these. These are like a green shell. Green shell coins. Look at those. Really nice. Oh, we're getting to the bottom, y'all. Oh, we got some. I call them M&M's. We, <laughs> we got some big M&M's. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Is this. Are these bracelets? No, this is Howlite. This is 16, 16 millimeter Howlite. It's pretty. Real pretty. Pretty colors. Okay. And just a few more and we're done. We got some more shell. These are like odd shaped shell beads. Oh, and we got some long black ones. These are lightweight, so are these stone? I don't think so. No jade. So dyed jade. How pretty. Let me clear the table real quick and we'll look through the last of it. And I'll let you get back to life here. Get back to crafting, I hope. I gotta go through all of these and pick out which ones that I want to work with today. And I have to get them into my storage. Alright. Next we have. What is this called? This is called Magini Mag or something. Almost looks turquoise, but those are not quite cubes, but close enough. Then we have oh some this is those angels with the heart. Here, here's one that's already upright that you can see. Oh actually I could just take it out of the bag. It's not that big a deal. There you go. So angel with the heart charm or heart with the angel wing charm. I should have got some more of those. Those look nice. Okay. And then we have Ooh, yes. These are glass beads, but they're like they're like the lamp work beads. Look, let me show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Look how pretty those are. Darker than your ocean blue, but really pretty. Look like they got little clouds on them. <laughs> those are nice. So we got some of those. They're like flat, flat pillows. And then just a couple more here. All right. And then we got what are these? These look weird. These are glass beads too. They're a lighter color though. Okay, here we go. See those? Those are cool. Almost like an oblong circle. Some of them are transparent, but they have beautiful design on them. This would be a real cute bracelet. Real cute with some silver beads in between them. And then, um, last, is this the last? Oh my goodness, this is the last of it, y'all. Yay! <laughs> um, this is all, more olive jade, but this one has some white in it. It has like a, y'all see, it's got some white in it. That other one has more than this one. This one, see? That's pretty cool. So definitely when you do this one, um, you need to put something that's got some white in there so that that bounces out or balances out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end. Oh, look, you can even see the stand. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of um, this phone is heavy. Y'all, I got me a stand. This stand, I don't know, you can see it here. Let me take it you can, so you can see it. This stand I got on Timu. And it it's really cool. It will hold your phone up really nicely. 
you know and then it folds down let me show you it folds down for easy storage you um you put this piece up snaps in there and then you fold this down cross it oh there it goes and then there it is throw it in your purse and go so i really like i really it's holding up really well i got it mostly for um for what not because on what not you can only film a certain way up and down usually I like to hold my phone sideways and then I just put you up put it up sit you in there and there you are so okay um that was a little sidetrack this is not a tea move Paul this is a beat and beverage with fire mountain gem all right Thank you, everybody. We hope that you enjoyed what we had to share today. Look forward to new creations coming to Cheryl's Crafty World, which is relaunching on April 1st. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. This is Charlene with Cheryl's Crafty.